All right, we're going to go ahead and create a more complex um, adaptive component. Um, this one is sort of an aperture, so it has a, we sort of spin around it here, um, it has a hole, it has a square base, then it has a hole in the top. And again, this is just a surface. We can create one that actually has thickness later. Um, we're going to keep it a little simple right now, so we'll go ahead and create that. So you're going to start from the same place, go to Family New, scroll down and get your general, your generic model adaptive, click Open, and as I do, I always change my background, so it's white. Don't get a lot of that funniness in the video. Okay, so um, this is a four point, so we're going to place four points, so go to your point element, place one, two, three, four. And then we're going to select them and make them adaptive. So windowing around and make them adaptive. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is go to the draw reference and we want to make sure that um, 3D snapping is on. So I'm going to turn 3D snapping on and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, stop that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put a line that sort of keeps track of the middle of this thing. So what I want to do is host a point here on the center of this line and host a point here on the center of this line. So I'm going to go host, go to point element, make sure that draw and face is selected, and if you snap to the midpoint, then it will place a point there at the midpoint. You can do the same over here. And so now you've got two points on the midpoints of those lines. And they should pretty well track, with, see how it's moving. It will always stay on the midpoint. That's because of the normalized um, curve surface. If we pick this guy, oops, not the reference plane, but that. If we go down, then that normalized curve location is at 0.5. So it just makes that into one and always stays at 0.5, and the same thing would be true of this if you snap to the midpoint. Now we're going to repeat the reference line, um, making sure 3D snapping is on, and boom, boom. And now that line will be hosted on those lines, and so it will track, right? If you move one of these, it'll track with those. Whoops. If you can get a hold of those little... Sometimes it's difficult. So you can see that it tracks with those. Okay. Now one more hosting of a point, and that's on the midpoint of this guy. And then we're going to pick that point and use it to draw a vertical line. So drawing a reference line, making sure that draw on work plane is on and 3D snapping is off, making sure we're on that point and drawing up vertically using the blue alignment line. Then we're going to put a parameter on this line, so making that dimension permanent by selecting the icon, picking that dimension, and assigning a parameter to it. And we'll name this one line height. Okay, and then We'll flex that parameter real quick just to make sure everything is working. So go into my family types dialog box, setting that to 15, and hitting apply. It looks like it's working. Next thing we want to do is assign an angle parameter to that point. So I'm coming over there, selecting the point, going to rotation angle, and associating a parameter with it. And I'm going to name that angle. Click OK. Now I'm going to place another point hosted on this line. And it didn't host because it's really big, so I'm going to pick that. I'm going to say, pick new host, and I'm going to hover over that line, and it's going to associate itself with that line. So now that's hosted on that line. So now I can pick that, and I can go to draw uh, reference, and I'm going to do a rectangle. Make sure that draw and work plane is selected and 3D snapping is not, so it's going to draw and host itself to that point. And I just want to kind of draw a rectangle around that point. 
So I'm going to pick this line that's a little close to that and just kind of move it out. And then what I'm going to do is, um, is put some parameters on this guy. So I'm going to need to dimension to that. So I'm going to go to Create, Align, Dimension. And I'm going to pick this line, that line, that line, and then click on Nothing. And it'll give you a little equals. And you can pick on that line, that line, that line, pull it out, and there's a little equals. And then you can do an overall dimension that will encompass both of those. And you can put a parameter on that. So I'm just going to pick both of these. We're going to leave it as a square. And I'm going to go to add parameter. And I'm going to call this square size. Okay. And then I'll go in there and, and flex that to make sure that it's working. Change that to like two feet, hit apply. So now we've got that. Now we just want this point to be at the end of that line. So again, it's the same process we used in a lot of the other ones. Just pick that point and there's a normalized curve and you can just hit one and it'll shoot that up to the edge of that. So now we just need to um, create a form between these. So you could try picking this and then going down and control and picking that and going to create form and it'll create a form, but it's going to be solid. Like that's just solid all the way through. So if I go to shaded, right, it's just a solid piece and we actually want it to be an aperture so you can see through it. So I'm going to control Z to where, or I can just delete that. And so what you can do is just to get the surfaces is you can come in and you can tab select a line, hold down the control key, or tab select, hold down the control key and go to create form and just create those faces individually. So again, I'm going in, hovering over that, hitting tab, left clicking, hovering over that, hitting tab, holding down control, left clicking, create form. Okay, so I'm just going through and putting faces on each one of those, right? So I can do the same thing here, tab, left click, Tab, hold down the control key, left click, create form. And it's just doing a blend, basically. So tab, tab, tab. Want that one, left click. And then tab, hold down the control key, create form. All right, and so now if I go to shaded, I have that aperture. All right, and we'll apply it a little later. Okay.